is me, Chris Candido. No gimmicks needed. New Jack passed away a few months ago. I know I asked you for a New Jack story for the life of me. I can't remember which one you told me, but uh, any... I, I actually, well, I'll bring this up as well. I spoke to Francine and said, probably the same as Sabu or Terry. Uh, when, once you got to know him, you know, he wasn't a scary dude. He was just a great guy to be around. And Oh, yeah. No, man, he was he, he was really freaking cool. And like my, I think my fondest memories of New Jack, like we were always cool to each other. But I remember just when I was a little kid in the ECW arena, he was just always super cool with me. He would like, you know, he'd be like, hey, kid, uh, you know, you know, help help me help me find weapons from my, uh, you know, to put in my garbage can or you know to put in the to put in the cart. So I go all around, I find him weapons. He'd be like, "Oh, thanks, bro." Like he, you know, just he, he was great. He was just a great person, you know, personally to me. You know, his uh, he definitely stuck out. Like there, were, like like I said, a bunch of guys when I was young in the ECW locker room were were really cool, and and New Jack was definitely definitely one of them. Uh, for, for the life of me, I can't remember who I originally heard this off, but I'm sure someone said like New Jack just he was like one of the most naked people in the locker room all the time, just wandering around wherever. Um, as far as I can remember, I, I remember I remember seeing Tommy Rich naked more than him. <laughs> Tommy Rich was kind of <laughs> naked a lot. <laughs> um, yeah, it could be. Like I said, a lot of times I I get there first, you know, say what's up to the guys, then go to the Eagles Nest and and watch the match. And then, um, you know, as I got a bit older, like sophomore year and shit, I, as it says in the book, I kind of, my brother would go on the road and I'd be like, yeah, dude, I'll take care of the house. And then, you know, I'd have parties over there. <laughs> so I would like split time between going to wrestling shows and having parties at my brother's house. Yeah, with uh, with New Jack, of course, everybody probably remembers him for maybe two, well, maybe quite a few things actually, but uh, the dives uh, and also fights. Uh, backstage and then obviously after ECW probably more in the ring as well but do you remember any like while you were watching just any crazy dives that you just thought no one could survive that one yeah well there's I have two crazy so one um, the one crazy dive was at Convention Hall in Asbury Park because I dude I remember going up there and like like me and my friends got to the building early and I remember going up to that balcony and being like god damn like this is a I didn't know he was going to do a dive. I was just like looking, we were just walking around because the building was empty. And then when he did that dive from that balcony, that, that was, that was insane. Cause that's like uh convention hall. They have like bands play there. So that's like the, the, like the upper deck where they, like the cheap tickets are. And he jumped all the way from that, you know, but I remember the crazy new Jack story was there was a show in Atlantic city. Somehow balls got in some promoter's ear or some boxing promoter had got him to run a wrestling show. And it was New Jack versus Chemical Ali versus Skinhead Ivan. Now, Skinhead Ivan did a, a racist gimmick, right? And New Jack's like, oh, I hate this fucking skinhead motherfucker. And went out there and fucking cut Skinhead Ivan to ribbons. But Skinhead Ivan is a freaking Puerto Rican from the Bronx, you know? So he's <laughs> like, he's like, I'm not really, I'm not really a, a white or a racist you know he's like it's just it's just a gimmick but jack didn't know that and he like freaking really it was it was to a point where i remember chemical ali went you know was out of the ring and just like stayed out of the ring for a while and jack was just like <laughs> just just cut up ivan pretty good <laughs> so and i think it was also because this the, the show was outside we were next to like some club and they kept handing us over pictures of mojitos so all the boys just kept drinking mojitos we were just drinking drinking so, you know, that could have added to the to the craziness. Mm. Is it definitely a slice first, ask questions later uh, situation? Yeah, definitely slice first. <laughs> He's not going to be there in the ring. Like, what's your nationality? All right, I'm not going to slice it. Uh, he, he goes right for the <laughs> he goes for the blade right away. 